Hey everybody, welcome to month eight of Morning Light and Tucker Town. A um, couple things before we get going. Uh, we've got a lot of three and a half inch squares and what I want to make sure that you do is just like the pattern um, illustrates, lay them out just like this so that they'll be in pairs just like you're going to be sewing them. And once you make them, just using our regular method, um, do not trim them down until the pattern tells you to trim them down. Uh, the reason is some of them will be used as half square triangles, some of them will be turned into quarter square triangles, and some will be turned into combination units. So if you lay everything out just like this, uh, you're going to have a few extra pieces left over and they will be paired with each one of these will be paired with a half square triangle and to make a combination unit. So just to keep things real simple, um, I had you cut everything for um, 8A and 8B together because basically they're all made the same way. But um, just can't stress this enough. Um, lay them all out like this and make the half square triangles just like this. Don't trim them down until the pattern tells you to. So I think that's about it, except one more reminder to please, please post your pictures to our uh, Morning Light and Tucker Town page on Facebook. Um, it's really great to see everybody's pictures and their progress. And if you have any questions or have any issues, please post a question, let me know, and I'll try to make things as clear as possible. Until next month, happy stitching. Bye-bye. Okay, I've made all the half square triangles, just like the pattern says, and I haven't trimmed any of them down yet. And the first thing I want you to do is take four of these that are combination 18 and 21 and put those right with these pieces because they're going to get stitched into that block. <gasps> and then these four that are 18, number 18 and 33 and put those there too, just to separate those out. The rest of these half square triangles we're going to be turning into combination units. Um, quarter square triangles and then leave some of them um, as they are but just for the sake of staying organized I think we'll um, it's best to separate these out right away first so um, now I'm going to start um, putting together the half square triangles that are going to be combination units so I'm going to shuffle things around I'll be right back Okay, I've made all of my combination units, um, and I just want to show you, um, when you do this, you're going to stitch uh, down both sides of the line, trim them apart, flip them, press them toward the, la um, the large triangle. So I'm going to show you some of these that I already have pressed here. And you can see when I put the large triangle in the same orientation, you have mirror images. These colors and these colors are not in the same spot on, on both of them. So um, this is going to come into play when we make our two little card trick blocks. But I want to show you that that's kind of how that works. And then I want to also go over how to trim these up with the Tucker trimmer. So um, we're going to be trimming these to two and a half inches. Let me just make sure that's right. Yes, we're going to trim these to two and a half inches. So we're going to look on the side of our tool with a half inch circle and go to the two and a half dotted diagonal line and put that on the seam, on that long diagonal seam, and then the common diagonal will line up right on that seam. So you know that that little um, intersection right there is going to be exactly in the middle of your block. So I am just going to trim up the side and across the top. Then I will rotate that unit around and again line up the um, common diagonal on that short seam and the dotted diagonal line on the long seam and go right up and right across and I have the perfect little combination unit trimmed up to two and a half inches. So I'm going to do this to all of them and then we're going to I'll show you how um, to arrange them before we stitch them together into our block. Okay, 
I've trimmed everything up to two and a half inches here. Uh, the half square triangles, quarter square triangles, and the combination units. Um, everybody's um, trimmed up to two and a half. And now we're just going to make little nine patches. But you can see um, when we, the combination units were in mirror images, that means that, for example, this one and this one that were made together cannot be interchangeably moved from this spot to this spot. The right one has to go into the right space. So uh, just look at the picture on your pattern and um, lay it all out and then just make little nine patches and press all your seams just like the pattern says. You won't have any issues. And so that's what they look like. And then once you get those assembled, they'll be stitched together. And then there's the little strip that gets sewn onto um the side and that will be it for that block the only other thing i wanted to mention is when you trim down the half square triangles that are going to make this block uh these you trim down to two and a half these you'll trim to three inches trimmed they there is not much to shave off so just be real careful um, i just thought it was easier to make them all the same size there's a little more to trim off here but that was just to simplify this a little bit, I thought. So with that, um, I think that's all the tips I have for you this month. And um, happy stitching, everybody. And please, please post pictures to our Facebook page. Um, until next month, our last month, month nine. Um, take care. Happy stitching.